What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? We're going to talk about a little bit of information that just came out, although the information has been here for about seven days and nobody cared. So this is a little weird one to, to see. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but sometimes we in this community don't make a lot of sense. So I'm going to take you through this. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button. eToro is what we're talking about. Now, uh, if you are keeping track of what is going on, Diamond Hands, about an hour ago, put out the Lunk community needs clarification from eToro and Fleece Cannon, which is Chris Amani of TFL, on why Lunk is being delisted from the eToro platform. Luna Classic has been ran by the community since 2022, and TFL has stated many times they aren't involved. Please give us answers now. Here is the thing. This has been going on for a few hours now as people are uh, showing pictures that they were unable to do transfers, uh, they were unable to make trades. Now everybody's asking the question throughout this thread and several of the other threads. But I would like to posit a uh, thing here. They stopped trading it a week ago. Eight days ago, following the notice sent by the Terra Foundation shown below, we will be moving the Luna token to close only status. They did the same thing with Lunk at the same time, July 17. So uh, th this... Uh, <laughs> Now they're saying, well, I mean, what about this? What about this? What about this? So, um, and, and here we are two days ago, people are, are doing this. It took seven days for it to get to the Luna Classic community. That's how little trade volume there is on eToro. In coming over to this page right here on CoinMarketCap, uh, we're going down here 496,000 in volume on BitGet. We're going to go to page two over here. Uh, and we see, by the way, eToro is a sponsored uh, place over here, but we see here on page three, nothing. On page four, nothing. On page, I don't see eToro here anywhere, right? I, like, I, 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 nobody's trading on eToro. Um, and you go down here, $2,000 on certain pairings. Uh, I mean, $200, here we go. Uh, there, there's nobody, nobody, nobody in the rock means nobody trading on eToro. Uh, they're, um, their, their Luna Classic. So um, this is much ado about nothing, in my opinion. Now, of course, you want to see people uh, who are who are doing trade. You you want to see all the positives. And you don't want to see any kind of negatives or delistings or anything like that. And we'll get some clarification on it a little bit later on. And of course, if they relist it, then of course people are going to start trading. Or they're like, oh, oh, we've been meaning to trade here, bro. But nobody gives a shit about eToro. So uh, it, it's you know, I, who cares? So let's move on. Hey guys, did you see Binance the other day had this conference in Bangkok? And did anybody notice what's listed up here in their layer ones and layer twos? Let me point it out for you right there. You've got Lunk and you've got Luna. Now, why does it matter if there's Luna? Well, it doesn't really, but the fact that Luna Classic is part of their ecosystem, if you will, um, it went along with Ethereum, BNB, Solana, Cardano, Near, uh, Matic, Dot, and OP. Like these guys are keeping it prominent in the communities. So uh, if finance is doing that, then at some point, very, very soon, at some point, very, very soon, let me say it one more time. At some point, very, very soon, something interesting is going to develop through Binance. Now we have another, I want to say about a month and a half before CZ is released from his confinement as you uh, as you know, and maybe just maybe we'll start to see some information coming out about CZ wanting to take a crack at Luna Classic and doing some sort of revival of process overseas, obviously, but uh, some sort of revival in process. And I, I would certainly be interested to see how this plays out or if he can or will have any sort of involvement. But let's move back here to the beginning since we got that covered and talk about uh, that on-chain tax rate moving up to 1.5%. I hope that you guys came through here and started to read through this to kind of break it down. Um, there's a, a whole bunch of information um, that, that's coming through and including stuff that's in uh, X. So I would encourage you to come read through this. I'm voting yes, uh, th these people are, are, are wanting to do this. Now look, uh, I mean, let me go back here. It's not going to matter too much because uh, the trade volume is only on Binance and Binance is not part, like doesn't, it's not going to matter. Uh, Binance will not support it. So uh, here Binance is supporting you 
And then you are saying, well, you know, if you support us and you're going to have to do that, it's look, I'm, I'm going to be interested to see how this plays out. But, you know, uh, I'm going to vote yes, by the way, I'm going to vote yes on it uh, just to, 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 you know, throw a monkey wrench into everything and let's see how it plays out. So let's look at price action. All right, from a price action perspective, uh, remember we broke out of our little trend line. We got back in. We got this. Uh, we got this uh, descending channel. It broke to the upside, just barely retested its high. So it wasn't a great breakout. Then it broke sideways and down again. Uh, U.S. market takers, if you will, and the Ethereum ETF has not been like crushing and cruising along. So. Uh, it will, by the way, uh, in, in a couple of days. I'm pretty sure that we're going to see some kind of mag magnificent, just crazy move off of it. But we haven't seen it yet. So with that, then here we are just kind of bouncing off of the range here. So we found it as support. It's going to have to stick. Otherwise, you know, we could be looking at a breakdown in price action. We got uh, rejected here at 9. So that's where these lines come into play. So we've got a long way to go. Uh, to, to get this back to you know where most of you guys were comfortable with it over the last bunch of days. But as we get closer and closer to the next burn, there's going to be some interest and we'll see a spike in uh, people paying attention. And, you know, it's generally the way that it works. Uh, if you look over here, this was uh, July the 1st, right in this little range right here. And we broke down. But I think the next time we're going to break towards the upside here because um, you know, we, we tend to get a little bit of a spike in activity for that range, like right in there where we got the burn notice. Uh, so, uh, you know, per, per, perhaps we're going to have a, a little bit of reverse. What is going on, guys? You know, when I give it to you, it's important. Cryptonomy.finance just launched their own channel. This is a key financial sector for information every single day about what's going on in cryptocurrency and the broader markets. It's on Telegram and it's cryptonomy underscore community. Go check it out today. You know staking is where it's at. There's panic in the market right now. Fear and greed index is down in the 20s right now. And you should know by this point, it is a time to buy. So my first deposit right now, you guys know I'm bullish on it, API3. I really think API3 does a 100 to 300x in this next bull run. I just staked 4,000 API3. My reward on that, 2,892 API3. I think it's trading around $1.90 right now. So this is a big move for me, I think that this could produce some serious yield. Not to be outdone, you guys love Jasmine. I love Jasmine as well. I think it's gonna be the biggest thing uh, in blockchain for gaming at some point, maybe even integrated into Sony. 340,000 Jasmine right now. I just staked it for nine months. And my reward on this, 244,516 Jasmine. I'm super excited about this one. I think it's gonna be a big banger. But let's face it, the real money is made over here on the launch pool, water coin, water. We talked about it already. It's already up 6X. They took a big profit on this already. Cookie, you remember Cookie trending on Dex Tools, up 5X right now. Potoshi up 3X. Huge yields being rewarded. Cryptopia TOS was also 3X in the last round. Cryptonomy.finance knows what they're doing when it comes to these big launches. Make sure that you're contacting Cryptonomy.finance and if you do, you can use their 24-7 support line as well. Uh, you can convert your collateral into whatever it is that you need because they hold almost every crypto asset that you can possibly think of for staking and rewards. So sign up to Cryptonomy.finance today. Oh, and one more thing. In about a month, Cryptonomy is going to announce its own launch pad. It'll start launching its own. And guess what? You, as a customer and a VIP, VIP user, you're going to get first crack at all of the best projects. It's not financial advice. I'm always right. Okay, a lot going on, a lot of crazy stuff happening, and this bull market could really, the golden bull portion, could just kick off at any. So uh, continue watching. Now, USTC is up 5% on the day, but again, it's just coming back, testing the 200 MA. Uh, I do, by the way, think I have it on the 200. Yeah, 200 MA. So... Uh, very bullish right now. If the 50 crosses over, that of course is the, the the golden cross. That's what we're looking to see happen. That usually indicates that we've got this. You see right here, this is where the crossover happened. Uh, we get that crossover right there. That tends to mean positive price action. Now, by the way, it's not because of this. This is uh, the when, when you see that crossover right there, that is a lagging indicator. So it's because the market is doing something that you see it. So when you see it happening, you should give cause to 
know that something positive seems to be happening and that should lead to a spike in price action so if you see something like that then that's what your you know that's your your positive outcome here so uh and also by the way if this continues on you'll be seeing the same thing playing out over here so uh, as far as coin hall goes you're seeing a lot of positive price action Raycoff up 12% on the day, Roddy up 25% on the day, uh, Terra kind of trading sideways. Speaking of Terra, if you haven't already, make sure you check out TerraPort Finance. Uh, they are the place that sponsors this channel, and one of their protocols over here is a launch pad. And on this launch pad right here, there are quests daily login. We're going to hit the claim button right there, and we're going to claim a little bit of rocket. Make sure that you're claiming your rocket every single day. This is a tower defense game. Uh, we're certainly excited excited about that um, and then not to be outdone make sure for your risk-based gaming that you go try terracasino.io lunk luna bitcoin ethereum bnb busd polygon matic usdc usdt and dogecoin are all usable on this platform once you connect your wallet it'll ask you what chain you want to use you'll be able to use whatever chain if you want to collect if you want to if you just want to connect your ethereum wallet and play with with like ethereum or something like that you can do that so uh plenty of opportunity for you over here you can do sports-based wagering pvp poker roulette any kind of casual based gaming or crypto trading and you can just decide the direction of bitcoin very very simple very very easy to use very very intuitive as far as governance goes obviously the one thing that we have which is hitting the past threshold is 3.1.3 which is the newest update for the oracle split and as that goes through it's going to change dynamically the way this uh, chain operates uh, won't change fundamentally how you engage with it but it will change how developers engage with it and that should lead to a lift in price action also uh, 191 million burned over the last couple of days not a significant amount this is probably the lowest that we've seen in a while so this is what it looks like more broadly you can see it's starting to level off a little bit but here's the thing that's really not a concern you're looking at the daily amounts burn and stuff like that and if you come back over here you'll see there's moments here where we just don't have a lot burned you know there there, there are days they go by here i'm slowly doing this and you can see like some of these days are just not that good so you know we we do have times where uh you know volume is down and we're not really burning a significant amount of supply so it, it's it shouldn't concern you that that's happening this is also that shakeout period of the market where we you know do we kick off the golden bull so uh, i wouldn't be too concerned about that i don't think that you are and if you are, then you shouldn't be, or at least in my opinion, you shouldn't be. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, I know I'm a little colorful today with the red and the pink and the green and everything around here. Uh, but we're just having a little fun. So uh, you guys have a good day. It's not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, go Lunk.